This is the SID submarine information display, and it will guide you through the tutorial. Using your other hand, point at the continue button below and pull the trigger below your index finger. In Iron Wolf VR, you use this to trigger button to interact with all of the controls in the submarine. Grab and fully open the ballast intake on your left to dive the submarine. You have enough ballast. Turn off the water intake to stop diving. The submarine switches to the red lighting mode when it fully just submerged. Below 100 meters, the submarine will start taking crash damage. It is highly recommended to keep the submarine above 200 meters at all times. Grab and fully open the air intake to force out all of the ballast. Turn off the air intake to save compressed air and wait for the submarine to return to the surface. Submarine travels much faster on the surface, but you are easier to spot by enemy planes and ships. Move to the outside by grabbing the handle on the hatch above you. This hatch can only be operated when a green light is next to you next to it is turned on. The highlighted heavy machine gun is used to engage enemy planes when you are surfaced. Grab the horizontal handle on the heavy machine gun to pull the machine gun mount around to the right. Grab the vertical handle with your right hand to precisely aim the heavy machine gun and pull the slider on the left of the gun towards you to begin firing. The highlighted 88mm deck gun is used for engaging enemy ships when you are surfaced. The highlighted wheel allows you to rotate the whole deck gun platform. The highlighted wheel allows you to change the pitch of the deck gun. Pick up the highlighted 88mm shell Carefully push the shell into the reach of the deck gun. Now that the deck gun is loaded, use the highlighted fire and lever to fire this gun. Pull the handle on the hatch below you to return to the control room. The map gives you an overview of the surrounding area. The balls and circles show the area where the enemies will be able to detect your presence. Submerged mines are next, vessels appear as circles. The highlighted waypoint marker shows you the direction of the next mission objective. The highlighted range meter shows you the distance of the next mission objective. Set your course by setting the auto rudder to 90 degrees by rotating it to the right. Now put the engine order telegraph in the full ahead position. The tutorial will automatically set the EOT to stop when you reach the waypoint. In game you will need to do this yourself.
you have arrived. In order to surprise the enemy that's best attacked from periscope depth. Fully open the water intake on your left. Once you have enough ballast, the tutorial will automatically close the water intake. Notice the highlighted depth gauge, a blue area is the periscope depth. Move into the room behind us to launch the torpedoes. Rotate the highlighted door wheel to move there. Pull the periscope down to a comfortable height. Raise the periscope view by turning the highlight the handle. Use the highlighted handle to rotate the periscope to the 90 degree mark in the viewer. Lock the target with the crosshairs placed over the target. A green indicator light below the lock target switch will display when the target is lined up correctly. Target locked. You now have a firing solution for the torpedoes from the highlighted torpedo data computer. Fire torpedoes by flicking the highlighted switches. You will be able to see them approach the target on the torpedo data computer. You have destroyed the target. For more difficult targets, you can remotely guide torpedoes with the highlighted controls. You have completed the tutorial. We hope you enjoyed playing Iron Wolf VR. Press continue to exit this tutorial.